I don't know if it was God or what, but I had a vision and it said to me, you're not gonna visit, you're gonna live there. I don't think about it. I don't think about racism or wear it on my sleeve like I did when I was in the US. What did they teach you about Africa? That would be so intelligent they never see how important it was. The indoctrination in the U.S. is so thick and so deep that it's hard for people to come out of that nightmare that they're in. Show it. Show, show South Africa. Show life here. And don't just focus on the negative like the uh, Europeans in America does when they put out their media narrative or, or put out a terror alert in a country that's not yours. Uh, no, show it. Show your life here. Show how life is here. All right, family, it's your brother Asad. And I'm Adrian. And we are back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new material on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, I got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to my South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel, my wife, my children, myself. We greatly appreciate it. Third in terms of housekeeping, bam, bam, bam. November 26th, that's Saturday, November 26th, the day after tomorrow, because today is Wednesday. No, that's not the day after tomorrow. What's the day? No, it's that's uh, two days from now. A couple days from now. What up? Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. November 26th at 2 o'clock, Solo and Satin. The meetup will be at Solo and Satin at 2 o'clock. Uh, uh, we actually went over there yesterday and had lunch. Mm -hmm. It is a very beautiful yeah. place, very nice place. Yeah, I like it. They have an outside. They have an outside uh, deck where you can sit outside yes. and all yes. that good stuff. Yes. So, mm -hmm. um, and we gonna laugh loud. We gonna talk loud. We gonna eat, drink, and be merry and do something radically simple and revolutionary. Radically simple and revolutionary. Why is it radically simple? It is radically simple to sit down with your people, to laugh, talk, eat, drink, and be merry, and have a good time. That's radically simple. But it is revolutionary when you become intentional about where you spend your money. When you begin to focus intentionally mm -hmm. on putting rags and black hands, right. bam, 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 reds and black hands. So Saturday, November 26th will be the meetup. And that is, I think that's all for housekeeping. That's it for housekeeping. That's it for housekeeping. I don't think I didn't miss that. You didn't miss anything. I didn't miss anything. So bam, bam, bam. Just like that, we finished. So family, I want to say I went home to New Orleans. And besides seeing my mom and dad and my mm -hmm. sister, it was some things that I had to do. And that was, <laughs> I had to pick up some, some, some food items from New Orleans that I know, now that I've been living here, that South Africa doesn't have, yeah. right? So I recall being on the planes. Maybe you haven't found it yet. They ain't got this stuff. You sure? I promise you. They ain't got this stuff. No, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being on the plane. We were coming to South Africa, and you know, we fly overnight, and uh, um, and as you know, the, the daytime comes is like the last meal before they drop you off, because it's the breakfast meal. You just slept and mm -hmm. tried to sleep in that uncomfortable plane, mm -hmm. and um, the stewardess came around, and she asked me, or the, the flight attendant, I don't, th I don't think they use stewardess anymore. I don't think so. Yeah, flight attendant came around, and she asked me, you know, I... I forgot what the options were, were, and she was like, do you want this or a biscuit? Give me a biscuit! And I was just waiting for a nice, warm, fluffy, southern-style biscuit to come. I was like, this is really a great plane. This is awesome. They have biscuits? Where did they make them? I can't believe it. And she came back with this little hard Cookie, dry, dry cookie. <laughs> I said, well, well, damn, where's the biscuit? 
<laughs> and this ain't no biscuit. And then we learn here that biscuits are called something different. Like yeah. what we call biscuits, that ain't the biscuits. Right, right, right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then somebody said, when we made this comment before, they said, well, we have scones, which you call biscuits and scones. No. Mm -hmm. They ain't. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They ain't. Not the same thing. A biscuit is a biscuit. A scone, scone is a scone. scone. So I went home and got me some biscuits. You see how the biscuits look on that thing? <laughs> look at that biscuits. Light and fluffy. Can they see? Yeah, they can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, so I'm going to make some biscuits. Like, you, this is the biscuit mix. You got you to gotta know what you're doing. You got to mix this with some but eggs. But you know what? I saw Popeyes here, and I wonder if those Popeyes sell biscuits. Oh, my God. That's true. You know? I mean, I've never been to one here, but I've seen them. I'm just having a moment. Just saying. They probably, wow. Because they, they know the, on the, the Popeyes in New Orleans say chicken and biscuits. And biscuits. <laughs> wow. I wonder if it's on the menu. The Popeyes biscuits be dry, dry, oh, no, dry. It's like, really good. It's like you swallowing, <laughs> um, I don't know, just, <laughs> just clean all this out in here. Just, all that I'll be clogged up. All that be clogged up messing around with the Popeyes biscuits. But you have put it on my mind. I'm going to Popeyes today. We're gonna figure out. If they got biscuits, yeah, because I don't like that biscuit. Now they, if they hand me some fried chicken and a scone, I'm a, I'm a flip all the tables. <laughs> I'm gonna flip all the tables over in Popeyes. Man, you can really just touch because biscuits are, are I think they are American staple. You know, you have the Pillsbury biscuits, the dough boy. And punch me. You know. <laughs> That's not how the dough boy sounds. How the dough boy sounds. Yeah, whatever. It's a little chuckle. <laughs> little obese boy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, biscuits are like an American staple. <laughs> They're everywhere. But in the South, particular, we're from the South. And in the South, in particular, biscuits are like, um, um, well, they're really a breakfast item. But some people have kind of tweaked it, like like in the military, they served us uh, biscuits and gravy. Yeah, biscuits and gravy. That's yeah. I. That's you, not my thing. Yeah, that's when you're desperate. Yeah, oh, biscuits with this white gravy. Now, biscuits white, and you go pour this white gravy on it. It doesn't look good. It doesn't uh -uh. make it look good. No. But in the South, you can get biscuits different kinds. It's kind of like chicken and dumplings for me. You know, it's just mm -hmm. like it's too much of the same color. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. thing. It's got to have right. some contrast. Yeah. You got to have some contrast. Mm -hmm. Unless it's brown. Like if you do a brown stew and you see the brown beef or something, it don't really throw you off like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, maybe it's because it's, it's, it's the color. It's the color. Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. color. But um, <laughs> so in the South, you'll take biscuits and you'll have some people use like uh, they'll cut them open and they'll uh, the main way is to cut them open and put some butter and maybe some jelly or some jam on your biscuits and you have them in the morning time. They're great for like working moms or moms who you know you pop them in the oven. 10, 15 minutes, they're ready. Your kids can grab mm -hmm. one and round the door to be, or catch a school bus, mm -hmm. right? Um, then some people get fancy with it. They cut it open. They put a little slice of sausage or ham and a little cheese on it, you know? And if you really want to get real fancy, you get you some red lobster cheddar biscuits. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I didn't know they saw the red lobster cheddar biscuits. The biscuits. red lobster cheddar That's biscuits. Hilarious. You know what Beyonce say? If he do it right, I'm going to take him to Red Lobster. This is Red Lobster. Well, Red Lobster is a, a horrible seafood restaurant. It like, is. It's the most disrespectful. <laughs> like, we're from New Orleans. That's all we eat is seafood. And if you go to Red Lobster, they, they had one Red Lobster in New Orleans. And it closed down. It closed down. We don't eat that stuff. But Red Lobster is like for non-New Orleanians, right? The rest of the people in the country. Uh, it is like it's a seafood a, option. It's a seafood option. Yeah. But um, yeah, so 
They got the, the red lobster cheddar biscuits. This is the only saving grace of red lobster. <laughs> right. The cheddar biscuits. <laughs> yes, the cheddar biscuits. Now, South African family, we are having a show and tell and an informative uh, thing today. Y'all yes, already yes. know about Tony's. Tony's saturated. Now, if you read the ingredients on in Tony's, it says salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, powder, chili pepper, spices, salt, garlic powder, dehydrated garlic, and silicon dioxide, the anti-caking, so it don't cake up on you, whatever have you. But you see that main thing is salt. That's all this is. This ain't nothing but salt. It's salt with some red spices on it. Heavy sodium. Heavy sodium. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, yeah, if you got high blood pressure or you're concerned about it, you want to use this very sparingly. As people get older, all the doctors tell them stop it. Yeah, you stay away from Tony's. All salt, really. Yeah. Like Tony's they told my daddy. You can't use Tony's? You can't use salt. You can't, you know. That's you what happened to my daddy. Boy. Yeah. It must be hard getting used to that bland food. Yeah, yeah. But had they grown up around those people, they already be used to it. <laughs> you know? We be making fun of them for not using seasoning <laughs> until you're 65. <laughs> and your doc can tell you, don't you use that seasoning. Oh, man. Lay off the salt. All right. So the next thing, this is definitely not, this is not a Southern thing. This is not a, uh, this is not an American, American thing. This is a New Orleanian thing. Right? From New Orleans. This is Zatarain's crab or seafood. I call it crab oil, but it says shrimp and crab oil, right? And it says concentrated. This is some powerful stuff. <laughs> this is powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. I mean, you look how you shake up the bottle and it just start foaming up. This is powerful. Now, you know, you you this is supposed to be mixed with like um, it tells you for to dilute it. It says, uh, in a large pot of 2.5 quarts of water, add five tablespoons of salt. Bring them. How much are you supposed to put in there? Uh, tips adding. How do I don't tell you? Oh, one tablespoon. One tablespoon. So you got 2.5 pounds of water, 2.5 quarts of water, and one tablespoon mm -hmm. of this. And it'll season all of that. Now, me, I put. I just. <laughs> yeah. Until he's 65. <laughs> yeah. Until he's 65. And your life this, is on the line. Listen, this is a health tonic. <laughs> I'm going to tell you if you have sinus problems, <laughs> if your nose is clogged up and you know you have a sinus pressure, eat some seafood with this Zatarans in it. All, all your brains gonna drip out your nose. That's how spicy this stuff is. Is is this is spicy, spicy, spicy? It's, it's hot like my mom says, hot with pepper, as opposed to hot with heat. It's hot with pepper. And um, when you cook this, you know you 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 take like live uh, crabs, mm -hmm. live shrimp, uh, crawfish, uh, mm -hmm. and you know you throw them all in the pot and you cook them outside. You can't cook inside with this. Mm -hmm. it, you can't know. It's going to have your whole house smelling horrible. But you cook outside with this, and boy, I tell you, it changes the taste. Sometimes I take some fish, and I'll bake some fish in the oven, and I'll just, you know, put a little bit of this on it just to give it a little taste, just to give it that little spice, that little kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Zatarans, they don't have this here because I don't think they even sell no, this. they won't have Zatarans. Yeah, they don't. This... Look, it is Zatarain's New Order. It's made, it contains hot pepper warning. They got a warning sign. <laughs> <laughs> it got a warning sign. It contains hot pepper at, at, uh, extract. extract. Avoid contact with eyes. Facts. Because if you're eating that crawfish, you're eating them crabs, and you do like this here, it's, it's old. Isn't it? like, <laughs> for like the next 30 minutes, it's oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, it happens every oh. time. It's over for you. You're blind, but um, oh, but it's good. All right. Yeah. So this right. is New, this is New Orleans. So the last one, the 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 Tonys, and this is New Orleans stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, family. When I got to South Africa, 
and they told me they didn't have grits, I almost packed up enough. <laughs> they ain't got uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Ah! roll the children there, old school. You know what I'm saying? I don't care where we go. Let's go. <laughs> Man, so then they tried to tell me, they said, Pop, stop trying to give me these substitutes, scones and pop. They're not the same. Right, right. They are what they are. Grits and grits. But now I will say this pop and grits are actually made out of the same thing. Uh, 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 cornmeal. They're made out of, so they're made out of the same thing. And somebody said, you can, you know, uh, experiment on the pop to get it to taste like grits and I don't know. But grits actually look, when grits get cold, like you, you make grits hot, right? And when they get cold after about five minutes, they kind of look like pop. Yeah. They, 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 so they, 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 they cousins. They cousins. They related, but they're not the same. So I got some grits. I got a whole bunch of grits. Now, I tell you, story time. Story time. I remember because, so grits are a southern thing. That's Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, maybe it's mm-hmm. South Carolina, mm-hmm. right? Tennessee. Tennessee, Kentucky. But once you start getting up like New York mm-hmm. and Jersey and Philadelphia, they may know about grits because a lot of Southern people moved up there and they might, their grandmamas was from the South. Mm-hmm. But grits are not like one of their staples. This grits are like a Southern American staple. And um, I went to New York one time, and uh, I was like 18 years old. And the lady said, I was in the restaurant, and I'm looking at the menu. And, you know, I'm green because this is my first time in the big city. And, you know, people from New York always had this attitude, like people from the South, it was like, like we were slow and mm. country and all that type of stuff. Um, so maybe not all people from New York. I don't want to. Put it like yeah, that. Yeah. But there was that sentiment that was in the air. So I'm uh, in the restaurant, I'm looking at the menu, and I looked up at the, the, the waitress lady, mm-hmm. and I said, do y'all have grits? And she said, now, you know, that South Africans don't know that there are different accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't know that so there they were different. The they can't hear the difference. Yeah. But we can hear the difference. New York have a, New Yorkers have their accent, and we know it. Mm-hmm. And New Orleanians have an accent. We're from the South, so it's mixed with a Southern accent. And uh, and again, they used to act like we were dumb or something because we were country or we're from the South. And then she was like, uh, I was like, so ma'am, do y'all have some grits? No, darling. Now she from New York. So she done twisted her whole accent up, you know, to make fun of my accent. We don't we don't have grits. The only hot cereal we have well, was oatmeal. And I had never in my life heard of mm. hot cereal. Mm. I did not know that oatmeal was considered a hot cereal. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just oatmeal. <laughs> so when she said hot cereal, I'm like, they warm cornflakes up here. They, you know, they, they taking their cereal and putting it in the microwave. Why wouldn't anybody want some hot cereal? But I didn't understand. <laughs> so grits are not a New York thing. Yeah. Uh, they are a Southern American thing. And they are, they are, you could do grits just about at every meal, kind of like pop. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, my mom's from Ohio, so and she wasn't a grits cooker. Mm, mm, mm. No, I had mercy. Yeah, she was. They were Ohio, Kentucky folks, but still, grits wasn't mm-hmm. like a, grits wasn't a staple. Yeah, yeah. And that, mm-hmm. the, this, you know, I really think grits is associated with like <clears throat> Southern poor people. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it became like a delicacy. You know, like chitlins. Chitlins is not a delicacy. <laughs> it is. Well, Chitterlings will <laughs> never be a delicacy. I don't eat it. We don't eat no, no, we don't swine. All right, all right. So, um, I, the, I think that uh, chitlins, like there are people who discovered it and then they start eating, like I'm talking about after us. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the mother people. Mm-hmm. So, um, but anyway, so grits, I think, were like a poor but you could eat grits almost like pop. Yeah. Because it's a breakfast food, right? You make grits in the morning, grits and eggs and bacon. That's mm-hmm. kind of like the mm-hmm. combination that goes with it. And you can bring it into lunch and dinner with like 
Shrimp and grits. That's definitely a New Orleans thing. Shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Fish and grits, Fish I think, is all over the South. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fish and grits. Fish or right. Like and some grits. Yeah. It sounds good when you know. When you, you know, know like when you can think in your mind oh, of like man. some old country woman who made it for you, and it's like, mm. if I if her ankles fat right here, <laughs> <laughs> like her big arm, ankles and then, then. Yeah, what, what you call rest? If her yeah. rest fat right up, them grits go roll. Mm. But grits, yeah, like so grits. Typically though, most people just put butter and salt in their grits, and they're creamy. It's like. They creamy. It's not like a. a they not if the if the grits are watery, you did them wrong. Yeah. If they too thick, you did them wrong. <laughs> they gotta be creamy and yeah, flow like lava. Like lava. <laughs> like that. Like it gotta be that consistency. <laughs> <laughs> and the best grits are cheese grits. You put a little cheese in your grits, some butter. Whole lot of butter. Sometimes you add a little. Look, this is my trade secret. Now I'm going to tell you. If you really want to keep them creamy, you get you a little half and half milk or some whole milk, and you put a little or a little cream. It gets worse, huh? Cream, little cream, cheese and butter. <laughs> Man, that, that, that's that. Look, that's that meal that you need to sustain you all day. <laughs> When you no, go on they work. needed it when they're working on the farm. No, yeah, I'm about to say, when you go and work on the fields and the farms and you picking cotton right, for right, a massa, right. you well, need your Nobody's doing this anymore. They still eat the same grits. No matter. In front of the computer all day. It's the, it's the emotional <laughs> strain and stress that you got to deal with with these. <laughs> 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 the grits are not going yeah. with that. So, yeah, you put, yeah, the grits, grits, yeah, so we got them. So, yeah. um, we got them, but then, you know, I was thinking for the next meetup, I know uh, uh, Red and Stacy will be here. And we're going to do the next. And we had mentioned like having like a cook off or uh, uh, like a versus. You know what I'm saying? Versus. Like, a versus. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, or like a tasting. And maybe we'll get to, because cause, cause Stacy like grits. Like he will, he a grit kind of kind of sore. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like they got this like some strong. What they call them wine people, sommeliers, sommeliers, or something like that. He like a grit sommelier. Shut up, stay on the I know you are red. Yeah, the game is strong. Yeah, that boy can cook. That boy can cook. I mean, he make his own sauces and everything. Everything. Yeah. It's nice level. Yeah. So, um, and I'm saying that because, and all I had was like some chicken and a hamburger for him. So just think about how you, how, you, how much chicken you've eaten in your life. Mm -hmm. Maybe I ordered some good chicken to where a particular piece of chicken stand out. <laughs> right. <laughs> I bet every known type of chicken, chicken yeah. he bite into his chicken like that. Man, it was good. The hamburger was good. He had a sauce. I forgot we made that sauce. Before. Quite delicious. Man, it was something. But man, the sauce was good too. Yeah. But anyway, so I was thinking about maybe having like a a, a potluck, you know, where everybody bring like a little dish and we'll meet at some outside place or something and, you know, throw on some OJs. Mm -hmm. It's a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> family reunion. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we'll, we'll see how that, how that works because, you know, then again, you don't eat from everybody's house. <laughs> you might have to marinate on that idea. Maybe that's not the idea. You know what I'm talking about, y'all. Can't eat from everybody's house. You know what I'm talking about. People holding their dog in their hand and they stirring the pot and get the food. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let the dog kiss them all in the mouth. The cat, uh, Leading them over the, the pot top. Yeah. <laughs> I see cat hairs in the food. Mm. Ew. Mm -mm. So, yeah. Mm -mm. But, all right, no, the, the family here, they don't do that. So, yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't have to worry about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, some of our people, because I'm telling you, some of them black Americans picked up the ways of the mother people and be vet. They got this, they got them strange relationships with their dogs. Them? They got the dog mm -hmm. in the house. <laughs> 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 the dog in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Dogs are supposed to be outside, fam. I just gotta say it. I gotta say it. Sometimes you just gotta stand up for what you know. <laughs> dogs are supposed to be outside. Dogs are supposed to be outside in the backyard, and you're supposed to have just some. When, when you feed them, you take your. Once you finish with your plate of uh, uh, bones and stuff, you throw that outside of the dog. Um, what's it with the dog? The king and rusty. Come here. You throw it to the dog outside. <laughs> That's my grandmother. <laughs> Out in the country, everybody leftovers put it in a little tin, tin pot, tin container. Yeah, and she would be like, "Don't let all the leftovers in there. Just put it outside. Put it outside. Let the, the dogs eat dogs it. Dogs will come finish it off. That's what the dog is for. And run out and just be wild. Right. You notice, and this is totally off subject, but the temperament of dogs. Um, I don't know. I've seen some South African like they be barking and stuff. But you remember when we were. They, Probably used for similar purposes here. Here, yeah, they use dogs to be like vicious against uh, people. Guard dogs, yeah, right. but we were walking around Istanbul. They had these big old dogs just walking around, and these dogs' temperaments were so different. Like they were, you know, if you if you see big old dogs walk as you were walking through a neighborhood, as soon as you see the dog up there, you go, like, "Oh, wait a minute, that's a big mm -hmm. old dog. Let me make sure mm -hmm. what's going on." But these dogs was just walking, they were lazy, just laying around, and they were they had no vicious temperament whatsoever. And I mean it wasn't just like one or two of them. They have dogs just around. Yeah, so I think the way that certain set in Tanzania too. Yeah. Right? I don't remember. Maybe even cats sometimes. Um, it's quite a few cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the temperament's are different. They 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 bred their dogs to be what they are. Yeah. Anyway, part of the family. Mm. <laughs> Same mentality. Somebody said they dogs be racist. Or <laughs> 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 barking, calling you the N word while you bark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, family.